Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Exilia 2. We gotta make some more money today. And let's see, do we have any more story-related items? I actually haven't looked at this yet. Ah, oh, we do. We have one in Finmont. Anywhere else? Oh, it looks like that's it. Okay. So we have our one in Finmont, and that's it. So we're going to wipe that out really quick, and, uh... Then I'll make some money, and we'll continue with the main story. But first, let's listen to this skit. Man, in the space of a year, everyone's fashion sense sure has evolved. True that, and their You're hairstyles. Kidding. Especially Muse's. I find her new dress quite dignified. A fine choice for a great spirit. It isn't a dress at all. That comes straight from Muse. She's manifested her spirit powers in a clothing-like form, but technically, she's completely naked. What? Naked? Uh, completely? Wow. Are you so surprised? It was no different for Undine and Efreet. Uh, really? Does that mean... Mila too? Completely naked? I, I don't know anything about Mila's situation. Um... How can you stay so quiet, Luger? Say Luger something. doesn't know how to speak! It's, it's scary. Oh gosh. <laughs> the vividness of that image has brought me to my senses. Okay, good. That was good. Sorry. This is my fault for speaking so carelessly. Thanks for bailing us out there. That conversation was about to take a very <laughs> dangerous turn. You have my gratitude. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you were kidding when you said you're naked when you transform. Well, I mean, the clothes are still there when you come back, so... I don't really... I, I don't really Not know. Everyone supported my plan Magic. to see Olympias with my own eyes and meet the people on its streets. But I'm convinced more than ever that it was the right choice. And gaining you as an ally is a large part of that. This is but a token of my esteem. I want you to have it. Free stuff. I'll take it. Alright, so what do we get? Body booster. Vitality 3. Ah, just another one of those. I mean, I, they're not bad, mind you. They're just not great. Um, so just out of curiosity. Ah, cool. We have another monster we can fight. I think I'll go after this one next, just so I can get all the money that we'll need for the next payment. Uh, but first, let's head to Finmont. Oops, one too far. Let's head to Finmont and we will uh, find whoever wants to get this mission done. Well, it looks like I was mistaken. There's one up here, but there's also one down here. So we actually have two we need to do. We also have a skit right here that we need to play, so let's play that first. The city sure has changed. Has it really? It feels, I don't know, liberated? The stifling atmosphere is gone now. Okay, I could actually see that. I could actually see that. They're not, like, so uptight about not letting us go to these different places in the stifling? city. Stifling? I never realized it felt that way to you. It actually did. It wasn't surprisingly. just the city. You seem stifled, too. I did? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Jude still seems stiff to me. I'd like to see him get truly liberated. I could use some liberation myself, if you know what I mean. No, I have absolutely no what? idea what you mean. Come on, guys, seriously? Hmm. But Jude is nowhere near as stiff as he was when we first met him. Eh, uh, but he could still ease up a little. How can he be free when he's still holding back? Beautifully put. You two come together on the strangest topics. <laughs> they make an amusing pair. I suppose that's just another thing that's changed. True that. Also, what's this way? I've never been in this building before, actually. Maybe they have cool stuff I could steal. Fortunately, none of this is really that interesting, but we can go with Alvin's story here. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna say goodbye to his friend. Uh, it's you. What's up? Um, nothing much. Really? 
Don't know why. I'm just the same old Alvin. I thought you were done with lying. Duty calls. Better get that. Department of Dimensional Affairs here. You, 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 please, go I'm destroy the fractured dimension, because that's your job and you never get paid for it. Knew it. Better hightail it over there and smash that thing. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent over the coordinates. It's like we keep we forgetting the that, is in that this phone has automatic speakerphone built in. And everyone within like 10 business, feet can huh? hear it. Well, let's just hurry up and get to it. <sighs> yep. Yep. Wonder what sort of divergence catalyst will be waiting for us this time. I'll be crossing my fingers that it's not some giant monster. Considering that was weird. I keep hearing a weird sound. A cat. I got a cat. Like, what's that weird sound? Um, I have a feeling since he's with us, since Alvin's with us, this is going to be a somewhat Alvin-based thing. Just saying. So this is Niakara, right? Wow, it's like really dark here. Like darker than usual dark. Over there. In the dimensions. I guess it is cloudy, never mind. Well, I guess hey, we found that quick. Check out Press's ring. <laughs> did, did, did she get engaged? Maybe? But I'm pretty sure we're supposed to destroy it. Yeah, I'm sure. But why is Alvin with her? This dimension. It's from the past. Me and my pals over there are about to attack Jude's group at the Nia Kara Holomont. Oh, I remember then my that. Two companions will fall off the cliff. If things play out the same way in this dimension, the divergence catalyst will go down with them. And then we're gonna have to go swimming. Probably. We better not let them leave the city. I'll lure Press over there. It's the only way. How are you going to do that? I'll just pretend to be me. Should be easy enough. Let's split up for now. Go wait at Mila's shrine. Be careful. Interestingly enough, the Alvin in this universe was wearing the Alvin of our universe's clothes. Did anyone else notice that? I know that's just kind of a gameplay type of thing, but even still, that's kind of funny. Alright, so, we can't fast travel, can we? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we're just gonna have to run for it. Ooh, except we have a character skit. Let's listen to that really quick. I hope Alvin's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not that I don't trust him. It's just that this fractured dimension is... kind of special. Does it have to do with, uh... Yeah. Friends? Hmm. I'm not sure that's exactly it. But I'd like to think they were. It'd be too sad otherwise. Hmm? The woman with the ring on her finger was once in love with Alvin. Mm hmm He knew that about her and, well, a lot happened between them. I see. But in our world, he wasn't able to save her. The cliff she was on gave way and... He couldn't get to her in time. He was really broken up about it. Well, it was. We already know about Agria. It was, but I'm okay now. Thank you. Anyway, I wasn't sure if he would be okay handling things by himself like that. But talking it over like this made me realize that all we can do is try to help. After all, he's the one who's getting hit the hardest by all this. As his friends, we have to support him. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, it'll be okay. Agria, watch over me. I won't give up, I promise. Despite how Agria was her friend, I still don't like Agria. It can be a little annoying. Did Alvin propose to Pressa? This is... This is too cruel. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's, um, that, oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. We better catch up. Alvin! 
in. Looks like I got here in the nick of time. Press is on her way, so make yourself scarce. You changed your clothes? We're about to fight a major battle. Oh, okay, never mind. She yeah, noticed. Well. That's cool. <laughs> That's so like you, isn't it? So, what is it? The ring. Huh? I'm afraid I'm gonna need it back. Is this a joke? Sorry. So uh -oh. everything you've said to me was a lie? <sighs> Pressa, listen. Damn. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. oh creepy. You have a twin brother or something? Oh no, they Hella did fix his up. clothes. Interesting. Two owls? Pressa, that man's an imposter. Get away from him. We may need to go you back don't up out of me. Idiot. The line here is I want you to trust me. I told you to get away from him. Wait. Wow. Wow, Prisa. Alvin. What are you doing, you moron? Yeah, I, you moron. I didn't mean to. Don't you dare move a muscle. Pimple, what are you doing here? Agria? Enough. Now, who the hell are you? Hey, come on. Help her already. Don't you... Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting tired of this. Just shoot him already! Does no one care about Pressa? She's right. No one seems Let's to care this. about Pressa. That's interesting. Okay. You'd think her two companions would be like, hey... Let's try to help her out. Okay. Gonna fight Alvin. She's weak against guns. That's interesting. She's weak against Tamer. We'll focus on her first, though. It's not me. This is all your fault. There's no hope for you, is there? You just read my mind. Crush it for I'd love to hear more conversation between the two Alvins. That's actually quite interesting. Oh no 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 Oh, I love that move so much. Alright, so I cut out most of that battle because it was very long and monotonous. Sorry, if you really wanted to see it, it was very long and monotonous. They didn't say anything and I kept getting knocked around a lot, but we're going to come back here. Also, that bit with Alvin was really cool looking. And that's a really neat move too I've got. I'm surprised it doesn't link with Alvin. Doomed to fail. That's not true. You you tried your best. Thanks. I appreciate it. Pressa, talk to me. Pressa. Not again. You still not sure? Do you regret being with me? Do you regret our time together? I... Never regretted a single moment with you. Do you? I regret you not wearing clothes on a regular basis. Either. How could I possibly regret it at this point? When did you get so bad at lying? Just take a moment to open your eyes. You found your place. <laughs> yep. 
even at the end, you're still thinking about me. Let's give it to Alvin. Let him have a second to think about it if he wants. Here. There was no way to avoid this. Don't mind me. Do it. Pressa, I did find my place. I won't leave. Very emotional for Alvin, all of these ones. I love it, though. It lets you see what Alvin's been struggling with over the past year. Sorry. Gonna step out for a bit. I figured it out finally. What I gotta do. Which is... Yeah. Anyway. I'll give our report on the fractured dimension while I'm out. Well, thanks. If we've been having to run back and give those reports every time, I'm sure that would be annoying. I don't know if we actually do, but... If we did... Okay, so... Oh, no, Alvin's still here. Alvin's still here. Alright, so... Let's head off to the second one. Whoop! Oh, wait. Hey, got a second? Yeah! You seem... Kinda tired these days. What you got for me? Maybe this will put a little pep back in your step? Sure, this it will. Give it to me. I want it. Each other. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? What'd you give me? What'd I get? So we got clean cut Alvin in glorious rain for Ludger. Let's see how Alvin looks clean cut. Let's see, what is that? Is that hairstyle? Huh. It's kind of neat, I suppose. Doesn't look like a fruit salesman anymore. It's neat though. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then the other one was Glorious Rain. Uh, Squall Shop Martial Art. Let's take a look at that. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Fires a rain of bullets on enemies. I believe that was the thing that they were actually using on us. Like Alvin's counterpart was using on us, I think. Nope, nope. So that's kind of neat. And uh, oh, and here's the other one. I, I was kind of walking in the direction I thought it might be. Okay, so time for Mila's story. I think we're gonna finish up Mila's story and then we'll end the episode and I'll do the main story next chapter is how we'll do it. Look, I can appreciate the predicament you were in, but don't you think you went a little overboard? I didn't have much time. Besides, it worked. You can't argue with results. Results? I thought I was a goner. Are we talking about when they first met? Oh, hi, Luger. We were just talking about old times. Yeah, I figured right when they were coming in here, when they the first met. where Mila and I first met. That was one meeting I'll never forget. It's hard to when you... Meeting a spirit who's floating on water. Judas decided to nitpick my behavior on that night. Nitpick? To be fair, that was a year ago. Before I understood the limitations of fragile human bodies. Oh yeah, and the bit where she encapsulated Jude in a bubble of water because she wouldn't shut up. Now that I know better, I can appreciate Jude's nitpicking. I'll be more careful in the future. How about we just don't let anything like that happen again? Oh man. We're going to have to go d d delete some place. Yep, Fractured Dimension. They're going to be like, hey, why don't we help? It sounds like the fun. Is in Fenmont. We've sent the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. Work call? We'll accompany you. You scratch our yep. back and we'll scratch yours. We got nothing Correct? better to do. You might as something well come wrong. join you. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I bet this is going to have something to do about when they first met. It's just, I couldn't imagine you tossing around an expression like that back in the day. I still learn new words, you know. Even now, I continue reading human books. That wasn't really what I meant, but don't worry about it. <laughs> what about you, El? Want to come along? Okay. I still can't believe how quickly these gadgets spread from the military to civilians. Technology moves pretty fast, doesn't it? It'd be nice if the usage fees dropped as fast, too. Hmm. 
So they require a considerable expense to operate. No, they just, they just you use set them up. resources just to connect with each other. How quintessentially human. They just set them up in such a way where it costs that much. It actually doesn't cost that much to do all that. Okay. So... Got a fracture dimension to go to. Because it's in Finmont, and because these two people are involved, and because they were just talking about this, I feel like it's going to be about our first meeting. That would make so sense to me. what's the Divergence Catalyst in this dimension? I don't know. Let's ask around and see what turns up. We asked you last time, but you apparently don't know anything this time. Huh, nobody around here seems to know. Guess we just talk to regular people. The professor at Tallinn Medical School succeeded in capturing a great spirit. If that's true, then I guess that's just years how this how years how price is going to him. That sounds like we need to head down to Tallinn Medical School. But where to exactly? That's the reception. Over here's the actual, like, school, I believe. No, that's the student services. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. You, you have read thing. Jude's hard work is finally paying off. He's always been in a disadvantaged position, working under Professor House, who wasn't producing results. I hope the research regarding Asuka goes well for his sake. Professor House is one of my mentors, although he already passed away in our world. I see. So maybe we need to go in here then? 